What's up my bookish friends? Hey y'all. So, y'all, I just left Barnes & Noble. Clearly I'm on my lunch break. Y'all let me know if you're like me. Like, one thing about me, when I get off work, I wanna be off work and I wanna go home to my dog, my beautiful apartment, and my man. So, oftentimes, I will run errands or just do things on my lunch break so that way when I get off, like I'm off. I also, not really this week, but I typically work out before work, like 4 a.m. Because I don't know, it's something about getting off work where I don't wanna do nothing else. I wanna go home, shower, relax, eat, and like mentally decompress and get ready for the next day and read. Y'all let me know if y'all are like me. Sorry y'all are shaking. But y'all, I just left Barnes & Noble. It is February. Um, I think I've said this before. I do read Diverse all year long. But this year, I really, 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 really want to read more thrillers and horror by Black authors. I love reading books by Black authors um, because it just feels good. I can relate. I love reading books by Black authors because a lot of time when I'm reading, I'm like, girl oh boy i know exactly what you're talking about and it's just fun and it's just cool like i said i read diverse and i really want to give um black authors and authors of color like more love this year because i often and i'm trying not to do it and i haven't been i often fall into what everybody else falls into all the popular books what's hot what's not and although i do love those books and i that's cool that those books are super super hyped up but i want to give my books that well people of color more shine more spotlight and like i told y'all yes i will be reading popular books on my channel and i'll be doing all that but i'm also going to be reading old books i'm going to just be reading whatever i want to read so today is officially february 6th or 7th y'all if y'all remember when i did my um tbr video a couple weeks back where um i wrapped up the videos and i rolled a jar of numbers and those are the books that I had to read. Tell me why I haven't read any of them. I'm a mood reader. <laughs> like I told y'all, I am a mood reader, like the biggest mood reader you will ever meet. So I have to truly, truly, truly be filling a book to read it. So that's why I typically don't do TBRs and I probably won't do it again because I'm a mood reader, baby. Like I have to be in a mood. So I did tell y'all that I was going to start reading um, bookshops and bone dust. I didn't read that. I bought it and I'm gonna keep it, but I did not read it. And I probably won't read that until March because for the rest of the, this month, I actually wanna read books by Black Arthurs. So we're gonna see how that goes. I would really like to, but again, I'm a mood reader, so I have to be in the mood. Um, but yeah, I think like I told y'all in my previous video, I wanna use like those cozy mysteries and cozy fantasies for in between thrillers and horrors. So I'm gonna leave bookshops and bone dust until after I finish a couple thrillers or whatever, I'll get back to it. But I did just run in Barnes and Noble and I'm super excited about this book um, because I've been hearing a lot about it. And like I said, I wanna read some black authors. So before I head back into work, I wanted to show y'all what I picked up. So I did run in Barnes and Noble. So here where I live, we don't have like a books a million or a lot of different bookstores. We have a lot of bookstores, but we have like a lot of small private bookstores. And then we do have some used bookstores like McKay's that I always go into. I love McKay's, um, but like as a big bookstore that has almost every book is gonna be Barnes and Noble. Um, or you gotta order off Amazon or something like that. If I want to go to Charlotte or like another city, I might find a Books A Million, but Barnes & Noble is always like the closest place to go. So I went and picked up this book. I have never read a book by this author before, but I'm super, super excited about it. I think this book may have came out last year. Um, I'm not really sure, but I went and got 
The Way to Blood by Tiffany D. Jackson. My last name Jackson, that's probably my cousin. <laughs> I'm just kidding, but I went and got The Way to Blood by Tiffany D. Jackson. I hear that it is a retelling of Carrie. I've never read Carrie, but of course I've seen Carrie and I'm super excited about this book. Um, So yeah, Tiffany D. Jackson, she's a very, very, very popular black woman author and I've never read anything about by her um i've heard of the book allegedly i've heard of the book um monday's not coming um i heard of weight of blood um and a couple other books that i'll have popping up on the screen i've heard of all of them always intrigued never picked it up and i said you know what we're gonna do it so this is the weight of blood um it said it features an original epilogue it says uneasy lies the head that wears the tiara by tiffany d jackson um so i'll read the synopsis real quick it says when springville residents at least the ones still alive are questioned about what happened on prom night they all have the same explanation maddie did it outcast madison washington has always been a target for bullies and she's dealt with it until a surprise rainstorm uh, reveals her most closely kept secret. Maddie is biracial, y'all. She black and white. She mixed, you know, ice cream cone, black and white. She biracial and has been passing for white, y'all. Pure white her entire life. At the behest of her uh, fanical white father, after a viral bullying video pulls back the curtains of Springville High's racist roots, students, student leaders devise a plan to change their image hosts the school's first integrated prom the popular white class president convinces her black superstar quarterback boyfriend to ask maddie to be his date but some of her classmates aren't done with her just yet little do they know maddie still has another secret one that will cost all their lives so i don't exactly know what's a finna go down but i do know that um some stuff is gonna go down i'm really excited about this um i see on the back horror done right bone chilling explosive kills it brilliant thrilling a smart and unsettling retelling of carrie so yeah i am going to dive into this again i will keep y'all updated because i am a mood reader so i might keep reading it i might switch but yeah i think i'm really excited to read this book i also did pick up this cute little bookmark because for some reason i thought that it kind of went together so i picked this bookmark this bookmark up as well from Barnes and Noble and I'm very excited to um read this book this is the bookmark so yeah I am going to head back into work just wanted to show y'all what I picked up hopefully you guys are having a fantastic day and I will see you guys in my next clip Straight to a penthouse, Miami Beach. Yeah, yo. Talk crazy on tweets. Who? They don't want it cause I come to defeat. They don't want it. I peep, these niggas all sweet. sweet. Bamboo sticks out in the cheek. <laughs> it's a new weirdo every week. Weirdo. Get the work, put it up for my seeds. No care for the IG. This no do care. anything for club. Anything. Do anything for club. gang i am home and fresh off work and i wanted to come and talk to y'all really quick about the weight of blood and where i am right now so i am on page 61 some things are definitely going down um let me push y'all back So yeah, I'm on page 61. Some things are definitely going down. Um, I am really enjoying this book. I'm about to cuddle up and read a little more of it, but I did just wanna come and let y'all know my thoughts so far. So my thoughts so far are, um, I feel a lot of pain. Um, and that is what I read that I was gonna feel. I feel a lot of pain just for the characters. Um, for the main character maddie i feel pain for the character kenny um i just i'm feeling some type of way about the book but that is what it was intended to do so i am enjoying that i just didn't know how deep this was gonna go so like i had said previously it is a carry retelling and um 
I'm enjoying it. I don't plan to give spoilers for this book because this author definitely deserves for y'all to go read it. I can already tell. But I will say that Maddie, who is the main character, I will say she is going through a lot. I feel pain for her. I'm sad for her. My heart hurts for her already. And I'm only 61 pages in. I did order some annotating items off of Amazon because I don't know about y'all, but I'm definitely going to start annotating my thrillers because for one, I am going to take my time reading this year. Like I said, I think annotating would be awesome for me to like remember things, remember plots, remember names, remember, you know, how the book made me feel. So when my annotating goodies come from Amazon tomorrow, I will definitely show them to y'all. The only thing I got were, well, I'll show y'all tomorrow. So just keep watching because I was going to end this vlog tomorrow, but I'm going to keep it going. Um, but yeah, I ordered some stuff to annotate because I really want to start annotating my thrillers so that I can remember my thoughts to tell y'all. I want to be very um, intentional when I tell y'all my thoughts about the books I'm reading because that's the point. I definitely am not rushing this year. I don't want to rush. I do think a book a week, maybe two books a week will be great but yeah y'all just wanted to come let y'all know how i'm feeling right now i am feeling pain i'm sad for her um and i'm sad for the characters the dad her dad is getting on my nerves her teacher is kind of getting on my nerves the principal is getting on my nerves like everybody is getting on my nerves like it's pissing me off but yeah other than that I just wanted to come and let y'all know how I'm feeling. I'm about to keep reading and then I will see y'all probably tomorrow, either on my lunch break or once I'm home um, and I'll show y'all like my annotation goodies. So yeah, that's where we are right now. y'all so i had the vibes i had my book i was reading um on the tv in our bedroom i got like a whole little rainy type of situation because when i'm reading and i can't listen to like a playlist like i want to be one of those girls but i can't listen to a playlist i can listen to like rain or like fire crackling but when i'm reading a thriller i be wanting like the fire crackling and rain Anyway, y'all, look what I just did. Look what I just did. Don't y'all hate when <laughs> y'all are reading a book and you forget to stare and you bend the cover? I'm sick right now. But yeah, I just had to come and show y'all that. So yeah, I am now, and I'm not reading fast because now I'm about to actually stop and probably hang out with my man, eat dinner with him. Um, and then once I get back in bed for the evening, I'll read. I just have to come and show y'all this. But yeah, I just got to chapter four and I am still locked in. But yeah, I just had to show y'all that because I'm actually devastated. Can I fix this? Like, <laughs> like y'all let me know. Hey, y'all. So y'all already know. I, well, I'm not even on lunch. I ran errands for my job or whatever. But since I'm in my car and I got a free moment, I was like, let me come tell y'all how I feel. So yesterday I told y'all I was feeling kind of like angry, kind of mad. And um, the way the blood, y'all, I'm even angrier. Like, it's something about this book that's literally getting under my skin. And it's in a way that I haven't felt before reading a book. I generally... I don't steer clear of like books that have like racial aspects and things like that. But a lot of times when I'm reading, I'm reading for fun. I'm reading for to escape. 
And I think um, when you read <coughs> black authors or if you read about racism or whatever, I still deal with that daily. I'm a black woman living in a city, in a state that is wrapped in the Bible Belt. So, you know, sometimes I just really steer clear from books that involve that. And I try not to read a whole bunch of back to back because as a black woman and you know, if you're a black woman or, you know, black living in this world, you know, we still deal with racism and things like that. So reading this book is getting under my skin, but it's getting under my skin in a good way. I'm loving like all the things that are occurring, but I will say Kenny, his daddy, the teacher, the school, the principal, the friends, Wendy, Jules, like I will punch Wendy and Jules in the face right now. <laughs> but um, it's really, really good. Where I am right now is where Maddie is discovering some things about herself, which is super cool to watch unravel. Um, but yeah, I just had to come back and kind of chop it up with y'all real quick to let y'all know like how I'm feeling at this particular moment. Um, I'm enjoying it. I'm not reading as much today because I am at work. I try to read a little bit at my desk because um, I do have down time at work sometimes. So I'll pick my book up. But um, I'm really trying to read this evening once I get home because my um, annotating tabs will be here. I can show y'all and then I kind of keep track of everything because, um, yeah, I'm going to be an annotating girly because there's so many things and so many feelings that I'm feeling that I want to document. I want to annotate. I want to be able to look back and just understand why a book made me feel away. I want to be able to remember the book. And that's why I said this year I'm slowing down with my reading, y'all, because one thing about me I am bad with like remembering names and stuff like that so you know the more books I read like the months I read 12 books and 13 books and like all that all that I, I tend to forget books and forget facts because I think I'm reading too much and I don't want to fall into that oh let me just read a whole bunch of books because she read 30 books this month and she read 27 books this month she read 17 books this month it's not about that it's about me and how i feel about books and taking my time with books and being able to understand the author and dissect the book so yeah that's just where i am right now a lot of things are starting to happen um a lot of news outlets are trying are starting to figure out what went down at that school so it's really good but um, I just had to come and share my thoughts while I had a free moment. Like I said, my channel is a little different than a lot of channels because I don't do YouTube full time. I work full time and I do my YouTube channels, my book channel and my main channel part time. Um, or when I have time, hence why I'm vlogging right now while I'm away from my desk. But anyway, I just had to come and tell y'all that and just share with y'all how I feel and um, yeah, I will be back. Uh, pro I probably won't come back until um, I probably won't come back until uh, my tabs come in. Cause I, I don't think I'll be reading that much um, at work. So I will be back. All right, my bookish friends, we've been hanging out for a couple days now, and I'm going to go ahead and end this vlog so I can get it out to y'all, um, but my annotating tabs did come in. I got all of these tabs on Amazon for $7. I will link it down below so that you guys can get them, and like I said, I'm going to start annotating my books so that I can remember important facts so that when I'm doing my reviews, I can be um, thorough as well as just being able to remember um things and annotate the good the bad and the ugly so i think i'm going to use this red as well as probably a gray but i'll come back and show y'all the color scheme i go with for this book i think what i'm going to do is match the tabs to the book and i'll probably end up putting it right here the color code so that i know um this will be my first time trying to annotate a book so i will let y'all know in my next video how it's going and show y'all um i also did really quickly want to touch on this novella that i read y'all if you have not read anything by octavia grant you need to run don't walk because her novellas 
are so good so this one was called work husband and basically it was about a woman that was sleeping with her work husband and one thing led to another and all hell breaks loose like it's not even funny this novella was like a hundred pages if that probably less and i'm speechless so that was just the last thing that i read on my kindle but we're gonna ditch the kindle and grab the paperback so yeah i'm still reading weight of blood by tiffany d jackson y'all i have been thinking about this book all day but i couldn't really read, read at work because we were busy so i am on page 105 i think that's where i left off last night if i told y'all so i'm about to relax keep reading once i pick my annotating color scheme i'll come back and share it with y'all but yeah i will link these down below in my description box as well um so yeah let me pick my color scheme and i'll be right back all right gang so yep i said i was going to come back to show you guys how i am annotating and again this is the very first book that i am attempting to annotate as y'all know i'm 100 pages in so i'm not going to go backwards i'm just going to go forward and see how i like it so i am not one of those girls that is going to write an underline in her book not just yet so what i did was i took a sticky note and i made my key so red is going to be for like angry moments or moments that kind of like upset me as i'm reading um this kind of like dark green is going to be like shocking moments moments that i'm just like very surprised by i have this kind of like neutral cream color for sad moments and then this green for like to remember like important facts um and yeah i just played off the cover of the book i cannot believe i am banging this book up so much but yeah then on the tab key i'm not using any of these colors right now i may add but for now i'm just using these four but um i pulled them off the other um stencils and made them here so i just have to carry one one around and then these are just here because i can't move them anywhere but yeah i am going to go ahead and end this vlog i will let y'all know how i feel about annotating in the next video thank y'all so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video